Hi there, and welcome to our course where we're going to be setting up live server from scratch. My name is Lawrence. I've been a web developer for a number of years, and I really enjoy sharing my knowledge with you. And within this course, this one particularly has been asked for by students, because a lot of students, when it comes to looking at Ajax and working with Ajax, we run into the common problem of we know that we can run HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in the browser, but when we make an Ajax call, it doesn't doesn't work quite well when we're using the file protocol. And that's why we need to get localhost set up and running. And this course is going to run through how to set up localhost. It's literally going to take you just minutes to be up and running with localhost and ready to start using Ajax. And what we're going to be installing within this course is going to be live server. So this is an NPM package. So even if you've never set up an NPM package, this course is going to be perfect for you because it's going to run through everything you need to know in order to set it up. So we're going to first start by going through Node, showing you how to install Node, because this is the key. And Node now comes with Package Manager installed. So it made it a whole lot easier to get these packages and access to these packages. And we know that uh, Node packages go beyond just Node. There's Bootstrap, there's jQuery. So this course is really designed for those that are unfamiliar with using Node or Node Package Manager to bring in files, developer files into their system. So we're going to be running through quite a bit of stuff here within this course. It's also, when it comes to Node Package Manager, there's 475,000 packages available. So it's a really powerful resource, especially as a developer. It's going to save you a lot of time. We're going to also be showing you how to interact with the terminal. So I'm on a Mac here and I've got my terminal open. And what we're going to be showing you is some of the terminal commands so you can get more comfortable, more familiar with it. We're going to be bringing in all of the bootstrap files into a folder. We're going to create uh, all done within the terminal. And then we're going to link out to those files. So we're going to bring those in as node modules and then simply link to it. And we know that with Bootstrap, we need to have jQuery. So I'll show you how to bring jQuery in as well. And then once we've got that up and ready, we're going to go over to another folder where we've got a file that we want it to run. And we want it to run that within the local machine. And it's going to be as easy as navigating to the file, typing in live server, and this is going to run our local machine. And there you go. So we've got this current file that we have here that we create within the course up and running. Uh, you can see that when I type in there, I can refresh it. We got the new content. I can also go to local host and we can see the file is up and running. So that's it. And uh, this course, again, it's ideal for those of you that are unfamiliar with installing Node and working with the Node Package Manager, and that might not be as familiar with working with the command line interface. So we've got a lot of goodies in this course, a lot of uh, simple commands to get you started and get you working with the command line interface. So when you're ready, let's jump right in and go through all of the steps to get live server up and running on your own machine. 